So here is some footage of me fishing on the, my perch action lake. I was fishing with a jig and minnow, tip down with minnow set about a foot off bottom, and with a slender spoon tipped with a minnow head, which was gold color, which is what I usually use. And I also caught a little pike and two little walleyes, which I don't know if I have on footage or don't have on footage. But that's what I caught. It was a, I actually went to one lake first and caught nothing in like two hours and drilled ten holes. And then I ended up on this lake because I wanted to catch fish. So, and here's some drone footage of it. It's in the middle of nowhere. So here's what our camera looks like. Tons of perks everywhere. And here's what the fish looks like, another 7 8 inch. Another perk. See if this is just a dink messing with it, or if it's actually on. And we just took it and robbed it. That is unfortunate. I think that'll do it. I don't know why I'm, I feel really anxious today, but we came out fishing. We caught, we went to one lake and didn't catch crap. And then on this lake, this is my perch action lake. I caught a whole bunch of perch. Now they seem to stop biting at dark. I don't know if they move shallower or deeper because we're in the deepest spot in the lake in like 18 feet of water. I always wanted to try this, although it's a good walk. So I should pack up and get walking back before dark. And I don't know, I was seeing if I'd pick up any more walleyes because I caught two of them, but I haven't. All in all, it was a good afternoon of fishing, although it's really windy out. Hopefully my video isn't too wind sound, but it probably is.
recording. I probably need to fix the battery in the slender school. This has some motor. perch. So, we're out ice fishing today, so it's time to clean some perch. It's pretty simple how you clean them. You just go like, play through them. aren't jumbos. Unfortunately my jumbo perch spot was not happening today. So here's some fillets. That's how you fillet a perch. So today we're making batter from natural light flour and we're going to put some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder in with it. This is probably going to be some sweet goddamn batter breading because this is a natter day strawberry lemonade and we're going to see how it tastes. So we got some perch that we rinsed off. This can use a little more, you want to mix it and get it pretty kind of loose. So this is a little too, needs some more natter, natural white added to it. Then we're mixing up the batter. Then we're going to take the perch and drop the perch in the batter. And add it to the fork. And the issue with beer batter is it kind of sticks. We're not going to be able to put too many fish fillets at once with this batter. Here's the frying. I need to change the grease very soon. Anyways, here's some more of them. One issue is here better some sticks. This is definitely a grease. I need to get. So let's try some of these. These are definitely right. It just tastes like normal beer batter. So this just tastes like a really sweet mild beer when you make beer batter from the strawberry lemonade natter day natural light. I don't know why I bought it. I was intending to get regular natural light and I locked side got strawberry and then I just been ridiculous and tried trying it.